what is considered a good click-through rate and what's a goal for a conversion rate against actual clicks? What like what would be considered average for like these different types of benchmarks? Click-through rate, if you're at 0.3% or lower, that's not very good. The average click-through rate on Amazon, and when we're talking click-through rate, let's let's talk Amazon pay-per-click because it's for everything, but let's talk Amazon pay-per-click because I'm gonna show you guys my campaigns and you can see how good or sucky we are. Average click-through rate, 0.4%, okay? So if you go into your Amazon advertising and you see 0.4%, good, you're pretty much average. If you're at 0.5% or higher, that's good. 0.3, bad. 0.4 average, 0.5 or higher, good. So I'll show you guys some examples right here. Let's go into my advertising console here. And this is the metric right here, click-through rate. It's how many people, it's the math right here. How many clicks did you get divided by how many people saw your ad? So are people who see your ad actually clicking it? That's what this percentage is telling us. If it's low, it means lots of people see your ad, but not very many people click on it, which means you got an issue with something, with the targeting, with the image, with the title or with the price, something there is off, okay? So mine for the year to date for all my campaigns, 0.56. So it's a little bit above good, right? Remember 0.4 average, 0.5 or higher is good. 0.3 or below is, is yikes. You can though, you can see two to 3% click-through rates on really good products and really well executed listings, products, advertising campaigns. So you might see, I have some campaigns that are like 2.5, 2, 2.3. These are really good. Those ones are doing really great. But I also have ones that are like 0.01. That is terrible. Of 28,000 impressions, only three people click. So then you can go into it and see like, why are people not clicking? Is the targeting terrible? And you can kind of see from these, these are auto campaigns, which probably saying the targeting is not good because they're targeting compliments of my product. So it's not very, very targeted advertising. So there's ways to, you know, you can, you can assess your metrics, but let's say you have a really low click-through rate on a good campaign, like a manual targeting campaign, I would be kind of concerned. Like, let's just go to one keyword phrase. Let's see here. Look at a bad one. I'm sure there's a bad one. Yeah. Okay. Here's one. 0.18. That's below 0.3. Remember 0.3 is our cutoff. So these three, no bueno. But I can tell you right now why this one is no bueno. Remember you guys, I showed you guys my 80s pack that I thought was awesome and nobody likes. That's what this one is. So it's a it's a product problem. The product sucks. The design sucks. People don't like that design. So the click-through rate's low. So it's easy to see. Now these two, I could probably go into and see. I could go into and change the keywords, figure out am I targeting the wrong keywords? Why is the click-through rate low? But then, you know, all these ones that are higher, it's like, yeah, that's a pretty decent click-through rate. And there's some really nice, you know, high ones in there as well. So that is click-through rate. Now the metric for conversion rate, I think I mentioned it already, 10%. The average is 9.5% on Amazon. So if you're at 10%, you're doing good, right? If you're less than that, probably have issues. Now, again, with all metrics on Amazon, you want to know what they are because you want to know if you have a problem. Like if you go and you check your conversion rate and it's 3%, you need to figure out why. Why is it 3%? And here again, let, let's talk about, this is important. Sorry, we're getting, we're getting deep into this. I thought this was going to be a quick answer, but we're getting deep because I think this is important. With click-through rate, remember, click-through rate is people seeing your listing and clicking it. Just like clicking to go to the product listing, okay? Click-through rate. Conversion rate is of the people who clicked, they saw your listing, woo, they got to your product listing, how many of them actually purchased your product? So those are two different metrics that are very important that tell us a lot about our business and our product and our listing. If we have a low click-through rate, it's likely an issue with our targeting and our advertising campaigns. But if our targeting solid and we still have a low click-through rate, it's probably an issue because you have bad reviews. If you have bad reviews, people are not clicking your listing, right? So let's say you have great reviews. I have all five-star reviews. So it's not reviews. That's not the problem. Is your main image good? Is your main, does your main image suck? Does it look cheap? Does it look cheesy? Is it, you know, not edited well, right? Is it, is it just a bad main image? That could affect people clicking. No one's going to click if the image looks crappy. And the title, is it not what they're looking for? Like, is it like, mm, I, I read the title. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm not going to click on it. If you have a too high of price, people are not going to click. Your price needs to be justified by all those other things, by your main image, by your reviews, and by what it is that you're selling. So if it's a price that's like just obscurely high that and it's way too high than it should be, you're going to have a lower 
click through rate. That's just the way it is. Okay. So that's, the, that's how we assess click through rate. Now for conversion rate, we can, we can get a little bit deeper in that, right? Still some of those same thing applies like main, like price, main image title, maybe, but, but think like a customer again, this is what we have to do is we have to use our common, like logical sense here. Think like a customer. Okay. People are clicking on my listing. Like let's say I have a click through rate of 1%. People are clicking like hotcakes, but my conversion rate is 5%, which is pretty lower than average, right? Lower than normal. So that tells you what's happening. Lots of people are clicking. They're searching for mouse pads. I come up, my ad shows up. They click on it for some reason. Something catches their attention to click on it. Yet once they get to my listing, they don't end up buying it. Why is that? right? So then you got to think deeper. Why would a customer come to your listing, but not end up buying? What would affect that? Could it be price? Maybe, but they've already clicked on your listing. They already saw the price. And so the price didn't bother them that much because they were willing to click on it, but it could have a little bit of effect. Was it your main image? Probably not because they clicked on your listing. And it was good enough for them to click. So, so then you can dissect a little bit further and say, okay, it's, it's likely that they were probably looking for a feature that is not included. Like they're looking for a specific feature, a specific um, material type of feature type, a build quality, something that as of reading your key features, your bullet points, clicking through your product images and seeing the infographics or whatever, that they didn't find it, that, that they didn't find that. So they clicked away or going back to price, your price was not justified. So yeah, they're like, mm, this is $25. It's a little high, but I'm gonna click on it. They click to your listing. They read some more about your product and like, ah, it doesn't feel like a $25 product. Boom, out, right? So you have to think like a customer. Why is my conversion rate low? What are they looking for? What, what's enticing them enough to click but not end up buying? Is it the reviews? Maybe they're clicking to your listing, reading the reviews, and you have some reviews on there. Maybe you have one review that's just crushing your listing. Hopefully not. But like, maybe there's like a misinterpretation of something that's causing people, like it's not what they thought it was, right? Like you have to think about that as you're looking at these different metrics to assess what is the problem? Like what's happening here? Why is my click-through rate high? but my conversion rate low and vice versa. What if your click-through rate was super low, but once they click on it, they buy like hotcakes. Like click-through rate is 0.2. So it's low, but your conversion rate is 20%. Not very many people click, but the people who do click buy like crazy. That sounds good. That could be good. But, but if you're not getting a high click through rate, you're leaving a lot of traffic on the table. Like a lot of people are just browsing right on past your listing. So your listing is good. People are buying once they click on it, but how can you get more people to actually click on it? Maybe your targeting is off. Maybe you can have better keyword targeting to make sure you're attracting the right people. So just some things to think about there with those metrics.